Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner Studio, and today I have with me Nina and William Huck. William, let me just tell you right up front, this town has been quiet for the last <laughs> couple weeks, and I want you to know you missed the biggest turnout for a Christmas parade in the history of the town. I, think. I saw I saw that on the video. Did you watch I was, it on I, video? Was, I was I was very I was very happy to see the turnout and and the excitement. The weather was going like on. spring, it was beautiful, and it was great. It was beautiful. And I just kept looking for your float to come along mm -hmm. and catching all your goodies that you throw out, but. Today, what we're going to talk about, not the parade. <laughs> well, actually, it is a parade. Sure, it's a parade. Uh, William and Nina have taken a parade through the countryside. They have been gone for almost a month. Well, we, it was we, a, uh, six weeks. Six weeks. Oh, six weeks. Oh, yeah. More than a month. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they basically went west and came east. So uh, let's talk about why in the world you decided to do this, and then we'll talk about your adventures. Well, one of the things that I wanted to do when I retired was take a trip out west. I wanted to go to California and see the Redwoods and uh, some stops along the way, the Badlands. There were some things that I, I wanted to see. And a so, bucket list. A bucket we list did, when did. I retired. So, you know, that day came on October 15th. And so we, we've we been planning for about five years to do this. And in, in May, when uh, he bought the new bus... Um, and we did a show in it. I was like, okay, there's there's enough room in here. So so just so we all are clear here, she's admitting it was her idea was. to take the ice cream bus cross country. <laughs> it was my idea. <laughs> well, that surprised me. I thought that would definitely be a crazy willy idea. It was my idea. So a lot of crazy willies ideas it's come from me. Huh? You know, I, I, you know, I, I have thoughts I and we discuss, and then she lets me take she lets me take the front. She's like, yeah, hey, you go. On out there. Everybody needs a front man. <laughs> you know, everybody needs a front man. She's right. like, you got the energy, you go be the front man. <laughs> so when we got the bus, we decided, you know what? Yeah, let's take let's take this bus. It's enough room for us to move around in. It carries a lot of product. Uh yeah. so we 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 gave product away. We so did, you hauled ice cream with you all the way across. We, the we hauled ice cream across the country. We we are the only ice cream company. To my recollection, and to those of them at the National Monuments and, and the historical sites that we stopped at, that have had an ice cream truck come through, and and a get first. and get and yes. give ice cream, it's a first. So we we have pictures of us serving ice cream with Mount Rushmore in in the background. You know, we did the T-shirt challenges with sure, the small sure. businesses throughout at the Mount Rushmore. Sure. But you know, that was one place that Nina said, you know, I'm not sure we're going to get a picture here. And I said, you know, because of how far away we had to park. We're a, yeah, yeah, we're a bus, so, so we, we park. We park in the RV bus parking. Oh, right, right. So we're not around a lot of people when you have to park there. As soon as you ring the bell and the ice cream thing. I mean, well, <laughs> you know, uh, again, since how far we were parked away, that was the that was the only place that that was questionable if we were going to get a picture or not. And, and I said, you know, it's going to be okay. It's going everything's going to be fine. And we, we were on our way back to the bus. We got to the bus and got situated, getting ready to getting ready to go, making sure the inverter is still working for the freezers because you got to stay keep power, constant power. Right. So we, you know we had inverters and stuff uh, to keep constant power, keep it at a, at a steady temperature. And lo and behold, out of nowhere, here comes a lady walking her dog. And so if you think that there's not something out there guiding us along the paths that we are on, you're foolish. You're, you're, you're foolish. You had a little divine intervention. Uh, a, lot, a lot of divine intervention. Our, our country is a very, very large country, and we only populate a very, very small portion. So it is amazing. And, and, there's all the people we have, and when you fly and you look overhead and you look down, there's a lot of empty land. There's a lot of empty land, <laughs> and 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 then when you drive it, it's even more moving. Yeah. You know, we we did we did the trek that 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 the founders did. I right. mean, I mean, the first explorers went west, and we dro we drove some of those same streets and some of those same fillings that that they had along the way. So it, it was truly a journey, uh, an amazing journey. Through through this country and, and seeing the happiness that you know we we've got a lot of good and a lot of happy in this country, yeah. uh, and, and that and that I, was that was always a positive thing to see. I seen your pictures on Facebook. You, you lugged your costumes with you. We did well when we <laughs> when we when we decided to do this and take the ice cream truck. We we sat down and we thought about it, and quite frankly, you got to look at what kind of clothing do you need and and what can you do. And we're driving the ice cream truck. 
So, so you got to be the ice cream man. There you go. So, you know, Nina couldn't wear her ice cream dress the whole time. We went to some cold places. Yeah. So it was, it, we and thought about it. And I only have it. one dress. Yeah. And we so. thought about it and ordered ordered more jackets and carry, carried, you know, black sure. pants and, and jackets. And, yeah. and this is the uniform. There you go. So when we broke down, and we had we flew out to California for the week. We didn't have the ice cream bus, and we were still in our uniform because that's the only clothes we we carried those and sleeping clothes. <laughs> so Nita's got a list of all the places they went. What's, what do we have? should so have write I, it down? I, I did. So I think we should start with. So we we left on November fifteenth. Sure did. And and we went to Klein's. Um, which is down in Waynesboro. Right. Uh, they were short of lemon Italian ice, uh, and and supplies has been an issue for everyone. So we had two. We had ordered two boxes four months prior to two cases, mm -hmm. and they apparently ordered after us. So our order came in, and when he talked to the distributor, he we, he was like, "Take one of those boxes and Send bring it to clients." We can we can muddle through with one. Besides, we're leaving for a month. Sure, sure. You know we're not going to be making Italian ice. So um, he it didn't happen. We got both boxes. So we decided that we would take start our adventure on a good note. We would take that box to Waynesboro right. to Klein's and drop it off. And so we gave Just give it to them. We gave it to them. They were like, yeah. oh, we can't pay you. And we're like, you know, no. look, this is our good deed. Pay it to start. forward. Pay it this forward. Is, yeah. This is our good deed look. to start this trip. And so what, how did that good tree treat you? What happened next? <laughs> uh, about six miles down the road, we, we, we blew a hose. And we blew a camp. Uh, we we blew bucks. a clamp on, on, turbo. on our turbo hose. The death system. For the death system. So it, 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 stranded, it stranded us for the night. So yeah. we were 90 miles down the road, and we were we, and I said, I, in I, Virginia I told, still. I said, uh, then you look and you say, maybe we should just turn around and go home. <laughs> Nina, Nina, Nina said, we got up the next morning and she's like, okay, can we, you know, we got to go to a shop and get this service to and looked at. And, and, and so we got it, we got it all, all fixed. And Nina was like, we could blue screen, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we, you know, we were like, yeah, yeah, no, that was, that was just a little hiccup to say, are y'all sure y'all want to do this? You know, are you sure you want to get out on this road? Because it wasn't a major, it wasn't a major breakdown. You know, it wasn't anything that that was going to keep us stranded, and whatnot. And we had, we had great people that that we ran into. Yeah. So then we got on the road and, and yeah, and we, heading we out. went through West Virginia. Uh -huh. We went through Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota, Wyoming. Colorado. And Colorado. That's that that's that's when we had a good adventure. <laughs> uh going down again, stopped at an ice cream shop, uh, did some good deeds, got back on the road, and we threw our serpentine belt. Oh. And when we threw the serpentine belt, it also busted the shroud around our fan. Exactly. So we were able to get off the interstate, plugged in at, at Pet Boys, uh, let us plug in power. We were in Castle course. Rock, which is in between Denver and Colorado Springs. We were on my way on the way to see my nephew that lives right. up there. Again, uh, the van, the bus breaking down was a concern. My concern was I need a, I need constant power going to my freezers. <laughs> so we 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 were able to get off the interstate. Pet Boys was right there. They let us plug in, uh, no problem. We we found a shop in Denver. Denver, Jetco, so, Jetco. And, uh, yes. We we got we got tow we got got a tow truck. Got got towed in. This shop was open twenty four hours a day. Wow. Walk ins yes, till midnight. Walk ins till midnight. So when we got there at seven thirty in the ice cream bus, we were bus thinking on the we were gonna, they were going to be closed. Right. Exactly. No, they no, were not. No, they they, they were there us for right service. In. You know. You know, we just didn't got, got us an Uber to a hotel. I mean, they just took care of us. It was that because that was stressful. What were we oh, going to do? Because yeah. now Broke we down have, in the middle of nowhere. We don't know. We have what, to yeah. leave uh, our home. We have to leave our home somewhere because we yeah, were living sure, here. Sure, sure. So yeah, that was stressful, but but that hic that hiccup turned out to be a blessing as well because during during that hiccup time frame because that was the Monday uh, before Thanksgiving, we went down and and visited with her niece and nephew, which was in Colorado Sp Springs area. Uh, but we also reconnected with my cousin that I haven't seen in thirty years, 
and she lives in Aurora, which is just outside of Denver. So we were able to go stay with her and connect with her over those couple of days. We were trying to figure out what was going on with the bus. And then, and then when we found out that we were going to have to wait till after Thanksgiving to get it back on the road, uh, Sue and Chris were flying out Lawrence. to meet us. Lawrence. Right, that's right. Your neighbors uh, there, right, on Main neighbors Street. on Main like Street. Like picket fence that, that, and yeah. move properties. That they had planned on on coming out to California and meeting us out there right after they Thanksgiving. Knew that they would be an adventure, and, and, and they're adventure yeah. types. And they're adven- and they're adventure yes, types. Lo- lo- love Sue and Chris to, to death. Uh, do idea. do do, do, in, do yeah. yes, do anything for them. Let's have an adventure. Let's do it. You know, grand adventure. I want to be a part of this. Right, exactly. And we happen to break down in Denver. What does Denver have? Uh, just outside of Denver is an airport. A big airport. A big yeah. airport. So we were able to fly out to California and, and show up. The ice cream couple did show up in California. Yeah. And we spent a week out there. A little change of plans. A uh, little change of plans with the bus. So that kind of redirected us a little bit when we got back to Colorado in the bus. It's like, okay, do we go over the Rockies and out that way and, and into California, or do we rethink this and, and go this route? Yeah, modify because, our know, trip at that mo- point. At yeah. that point, you got to modify a little bit. You started going south, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, we, we did. did. We, we, we did. We, so we, we, went, we, we went ahead did, and we went south. We did not go over uh, Loveland Pass and the Continental Divide, which I was worried about doing in the bus anyway. Right. That road is yeah. sketchy. Yeah. yeah. So, but the, so then we, so then we, so we were, so then from Colorado we went into New Mexico, and then we went, still then went west. At that point, then we went into Arizona, and a little bit of Nevada because we did go to Vegas, yep. and then we did hit just a piece of California. Just so you can say you were there. Right? Sure, yes. sure, sure, sure. Because we went to Yuma, Arizona. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that was it's the, it's the oldest territorial prison that we had in the United States. You like visiting uh, prisons. Well, you know, <laughs> it, it, there's a lot of history there. Uh, good good, and, good, good and bad. There's a lot of histories in the prisons the, and in the laws. I'll tell you one thing I know about my brother went to Yuma because he had the COPD. It's only 50 feet steep of the elevation. So yes. you could breathe so, really so, good. So, 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 so breathe, breathing is really good. <laughs> Contemplated, do we go on up to the border? We're this close to the border. Do we go on over you to the border or the border not? Patrol some ice well, cream. we we serve border patrol some ice cream and and Arizona and some, in New Mexico. Yeah, they had some spots oh. set up. There yeah. was yeah. there they, was they a lot of federales down there. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised. That well, yeah. you know, you, you, you hear about it. it on the news, but. Yeah. You flash up your badge? No, I don't no, have no, any no, 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 she's no. She's retired. <laughs> you know, can we serve you some ice cream? We did. You, you know, some ice cream. And, and so we pulled over and served them some ice cream. Yeah, yeah. we did. Yeah. So and then so then did, we went and in. Did you get stopped along the way by any of the police? No. No. Yeah. No, no, nobody. No. Uh, we we had we had some. Um, really talk his way out of a ticket. <laughs> we, we, we we had some uh, some people. Uh, it, we were in the White Sands, yeah, and yeah. the the uh, state park people uh, thought we were selling it, and so he kind of rolled up on us hard, like y'all doing something wrong. Yeah, like, oh, we're giving it yeah. away. Oh, just oh, making sure. Okay, you're giving it yeah. away. We're good. So. I mean, we had you know, ten or fifteen people in front of us, and they're like, "Yeah, they haven't asked us." You know, they they told us they yeah. were giving ice cream away, and he was like, "Okay, then y'all have a great day." And, and got yeah. back. You know, I was like, so. "I'll serve you some ice cream." He said, "No, not right now. I'm good." I said, "Okay." He got back in his car. He said, "Y'all have a good. Y'all have a good trip." And we <laughs> said, "Sure will." Right. But it was, it, it was sunshiny weather for us. The entire trip. We're Almost. not done with the states yeah, we so, had. So then, so then we went through Texas. So did we back up. I know you went to Tombstone. We did. What did you think of that town? I mean, it's kind of like overrated. The town. And, 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 and yeah. in a in a sense, tomb, Tombstone. Uh, depending on what you're wanting to get out of Tombstone, yeah, if it's yeah. overrated or not. If you're looking, for, if you're looking for big mass attractions and no, whatnot, not you're, not, you're not, you're not, you're not going to find that there. What you're going to find is is the history of what the town had to offer. The hist- I mean, the town was formed with with with, with the the silver mines right, and right. whatnot. And when they closed, they just came in and boarded up those windows, yep. boarded up the buildings, and left for three years. Right. You know, yep. thinking they were coming back, and then nobody came back. And it yep. wasn't until the rest residents decided that we needed to bring life back into this place yep, because we're going to live and they did and so the history of that time period is is alive and well and you know if you ever really want to step back in time i, w- I would say that that would be yeah. one place to right. go to yeah. to step back in time and uh, see 
my uh, my guess one of my nieces or they got a, they had they got married in Tombstone and they got all into you know instead of the car they had the stagecoach they were all dressed in civil, period clothing, period clothing yeah. and the whole thing but the whole Mount Main Street there they really get into their Main Street oh they, they do, do. Uh, the whole town I mean they're in period clothing yeah. and yes. the towns are yeah, yeah. yeah. it's when, still when, when 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 we ro when we rolled in because the GPS took us across across Main Street and right. when we came across they were in the middle of a little duel Guns, out there yeah, yeah, gunfight yeah. gun scene and that was fascinating to see. It's loud. You know, yeah, <laughs> it, it is. It, it's loud, but but the energy and the excitement. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. they used to come out for public hangings uh, as entertainment. You know, they didn't have TV and that type of stuff. <laughs> and, and so so when something happened, the, the the community would come out and 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 see and be a part of. And that's just uh, like today with our Christmas break. People come yeah, out to these. People want to want to come our out. Events right. are important to our community. We need these events to get people out from their houses and their places. Uh, and you know, we drove. We drove through. I mean, we're not. We're not. We're not, we're not. Do, we're not. Do, we're not yeah, done so, with all so, the states. Yeah. So then, Texas. We 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 didn't do anything in Texas. I was spent a week there just driving through. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. I, I, I just wanted to get. Home to Louisiana. I figured I was, you wanted to yeah. get there. I know you stopped in Louisiana. We did. We, we stopped. Yeah. We stopped. Louisiana. 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 Yeah. So because he was like, "Where's the Alamo?" and I was like, "No, stop. No. <laughs> you drive it's in right San Antonio. Alamo, you don't no, see it. Well, no, no. Yeah. So we did not go through San Antonio. It, it, it would it would have added another. Uh, again, it would have added another couple five of, days on on, days. on to the trip, right. and, and we had had some incidents. It's time to be home. I, I, I was missing home. She was missing home. Uh, front rolls home. Uh, we yeah, we got were a ready. Little rejuvenated but when you got we, to we, Louisiana. We got, right? we got rejuvenated we when we got to Louisiana. Uh, we got to Baton Rouge and broke truck broke down. <laughs> Oh, the ignition switch went out on me oh in, in Baton Rouge. You were hanging too many keys uh, on it. That, no, oh. no, no. The electronic ignition oh. switch, not the key cylinder, oh. the electronic that's the brain of your vehicle. Yeah. Uh, so what does that do for us? Well, we found the shop. We get there. You know, it's two hours before close. Yeah, it was about uh, three o'clock. They, they, they diagnosed it, got the part. Got it in for us. Got us fixed. Got us back on the road. Yeah. Uh, stayed stayed open late for us. Got us back on the road that evening. Well, what did that do to us? That reconnected us with her other nephew in Louisiana that we haven't seen in about seven years. About, about I guess about five years. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's been about five years. So we were able to stop and spend some time with him while we were there. Okay. There's no point in getting back on the road. And so we went to family and spent. So our hiccups stopped us but they stopped us with an adventure and, and, and a connection okay. so when we think that 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 we're alone we're we're not right that, you know we're it's not amazing how clo how big our country is but yet how close everything really is as that's far right. as people go that, that's right so what happened after louisiana how long were you there a couple of days uh we, we were in we were in shreveport friday saturday sunday left monday broke down monday so uh, yeah we, 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 <laughs> we were in five, five days <laughs> <laughs> yeah, felt like Texas. All right. <laughs> yeah, and then, and so then we then we were heading to Florida. Okay. So went through Mississippi, Alabama, and then into Florida. Into so Florida. we've got we've got a lot. We got family. His his parents yeah. live in Florida, and we've got some good customers that have moved down yep, yep. to Florida. Uh, and so we weren't going to be that close and not go see some people. Sure. So we we truly so did we, get to see some of our sweet customers that have moved down to Florida. Yeah, yeah. And, and one that lived there. Uh, and and had come up and connected with come us. Up, come up, connected with us here. Our pink and, grapefruit and lady. She, she was she was in uh, St. Petersburg. Yeah. So we drove as far south as St. Petersburg, Florida. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had called all of her neighbors out, and it was quite a party at her house. There you go. And that's something. It was, yeah, we it pulled was, in. She's like, "You stay in the night." And we're like, "Okay," you know, because all my neighbors are coming to had dinner. Yep. Yeah. I, I just that that was that was the biggest thing. You got to plug in power. <laughs> so then we went through Georgia. But we stayed a couple days in Florida. Yeah, we stayed a few days in Florida. Uh, and, then, and then we came through Georgia and in South Carolina. We reconnected with family that that my cousins that that we haven't seen in years uh, through there because they're on the trek. Oh, well, okay, this is the trek we're going. Yeah, okay, now it's time to to say let's go do this. The only day that we ran into truly nasty weather, which was raining all day long, was the tu was the Tuesday we left South Carolina going to North Carolina. 
We were going from my cousin's house to our friend's house. And that was the destination we had because now we're just you know hours away from home, so so <laughs> you, and you can see the fi- <laughs> you can see the horizon. Uh, and, and that day it rained on us. Yeah. Every other day that we were on the road, good day. was sunshiny the entire time. But it's funny when you cross that border into Virginia. Can you just feel it when, when you hit? When you, you know, when you come it, over it, the hill, five twenty-two, and you see front row. What do you think? I, I, I knew I was home. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, come, coming in and, and seeing the landscape throughout our country. We have a beautiful landscape and here. The, the best feeling is when you pull in Main Street and your senior building was still there. You know, nothing, you know, yeah, it's still standing. You let so, all them kids running your business while you were gone. They were uh, t- you, t- you know, my, 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 my kids are family. And, and, and again, back, like, like back in the day, when we stepped back into time, when, when you went to work for somebody, you rode with the brand. Sure, you, sure. You, you, believe, you believed in what you do. Sure. And, and, and I've, we've been very fortunate to 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 we have to have to have kids. the kids that that have all come to work with us throughout the years feel feel that same way right. and, and have that same energy. So yeah, I was I, I was more than happy to leave the kids because I believe in them and I trust them, and, and that's big in today's society. Sure. Uh, to 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 trust them, you know, yeah, that's a lot of responsibility. But at the same time, they can handle that. Yeah. And, and my, twin, my twin was and my twin brother John, was John here. was here to and he opened to, the shop to oversee uh, on the weekdays when the kids were at school. So right. the so, shop was open. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Good. Uh, so tell me about the people you met that were eating your ice cream. What? That's really what this whole trip was about. I know. Well, th- th- no, know. <laughs> this 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 trip was about putting a little bit of happiness back into the world, not really expecting anything in return. And 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 how I put uh, it, we were spreading love and magic. One ice cream scoop at a time. Right. Memories on a spoon. Memories on a spoon. You know, we stopped at the rest areas, and uh, people that that stop at the rest areas, you stop for a reason. And for us to be able to offer some people some ice cream at a rest area and and change their trip. The first gentleman, the first rest area we stopped in, when we finally got on the road, said, yeah, we're, we're going. We're not going home, West Virginia, the very first West Virginia rest area we stopped at. We, you know, got out and did our did thing. Their Open, opened, did you know, yeah. opened up, opened up the truck, and this guy comes pulling, comes driving through the rest area, and, and and as soon as he rounded the corner and he saw the ice cream truck, you could see a whole different person than what was behind the wheel. And he got out and came over, and he was the first video we did. And he was like, you just don't know how moving this is for me. The last five hours has been so tough and this, this, and that, and, and, and I needed this. And now it changed his trip for the rest of That's what this trip was about. It wasn't about making money. It wasn't about how many people we can put ice cream in because we're limited to the amount of ice cream sure. I have. So once I'm out, I'm out. So it's one of those things. Do you go to big places and serve 200 people ice cream at one time? Yeah. Or do you make it more personal and, and, and connect with those of them that we do serve throughout this country? Right. And that was where we chose to go with it, was mm-hmm. to connect. Uh, we met people in the White Sands that RV, and they, they RV. Their son lives in D.C. They've stayed in Front Royal for the last three years have never come into the town. Right. Amazing, isn't it? You did meet people that so, knew exactly so, where you're from. So yeah. th- this gentleman says, I know, yeah, we stay there, this RV camp, this RV camp, this RV camp, and we're like, yeah, we're down on Main Street. And he says, now we have a reason to come into town. We will make sure to do that. Yeah. And, and, and so it's those little things, uh, connections. We're a large world, but we're all connected. Right. Yeah, we're all connected. And when you can slow down and, and, and make somebody smile, yeah. You know, change somebody's life. We had some kids that were crying, uh, leave, yeah. leave, leaving the we uh, Grand Canyon. Canyon. So we, when we got to the Grand Canyon, we had, again, park in the RV parking. was far away. And I bring I had a big camera, so I was using a big camera in my in my phone. And so I had the big camera because, you know, it's the Grand big Canyon. Place. You got a big yeah. picture. <laughs> so I had the big camera. So we get, get there. We, you know, we walk. We're sitting, in, and I felt my pockets, and I'm like, I left the phone in the bus. My phone was in the bus. So we had to go back to the bus. So we trekked back to the bus, and I 
crawl in because, you know, I go in through the other door, crawl through, get my phone. And as I crawl out, we lock the door. I hear some kids crying. And so we're ready to go take our pictures. We're limited. We, we can be sure. completely shut down for about two hours with the bus not running sure, inverter sure. off. So that's how much playtime we have. So, but I hear kids crying and I'm like, William, we need to serve these people. So we, we go and engage them. We find out we have a language barrier because they're, they're Hispanic. But, you know, ice cream will transcend. Ice cream is like music, right? It ice cream so is magical. We, you know, so we, we, we corral them. There are about 12 of them. Corral them over to the bus, open it up, and, and, and serve them and, and serve them ice cream. And so we, we had the board, but the board was a pain when you're serving 10 people when you're stopped. So we had written on pieces of papers the flavors of the ice cream. These are the ice creams that we have. So we had pieces of paper with ice cream written on it. And, uh, and so, that you know, there was one in the group that could speak English, so she translated for everyone, got everybody and got ice cream, and then we served a lovely couple. We served a lovely couple that was moving to Texas. Yeah. It was yep. coming from uh, California, moving to Texas. It made their day. And it made, yeah. made their day. And so then we went and, and then walked. And, and, at the, and at that point is when we reconnected with the couple that we met the day before at, yes. at a little roadside attraction. We pulled off to a roadside fried attraction. Fried bread. Yeah. Oh, uh, isn't that great? Indi yes. Indian fried bread. It's fabulous. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. I've never had it before. And, and it was, uh, a, and it was a, a cute uh, museum or a gift shop type of Place. place and so yeah so we we served everyone there and uh, met a, met a couple there that was from California that had been traveling RV and mother father daughter yeah uh, so we met them there visited and whatnot yeah, visited. and they were going to the Grand Canyon we like oh we may and, see and, you there oh well we may see you there and you're absolutely you know it, it, <laughs> it could be but you you never know yeah so as we're serving this this family ice cream and then this other young couple. An RV pulls in and parks right next to us, and it happens to be the couple and the daughter that we served the day before while we were on the road. It's so, amazing how you uh, meet people. We were on a trip one time, and every time we stopped to eat, we stopped at Cracker Barrel. And guess what? There was a couple from Front Royal in that Cracker Barrel. So we, you know, I know that. Oh, yeah. And then so we stopped at lunch at a Cracker Barrel front. And that couple was in that too. They were coming back to front and they yeah, stopped the cracker. They're, they're, uh, <laughs> you know, so you well, start. Three or four days we ran into this. I same tell you, people. now, now you, you talk. You talking about food that way? That was the hardest thing that Nina and I had to deal with on this trip, was because we were rolling into certain towns. A lot of main streets close at sure. four, four o'clock in the afternoon. Right. I mean, we we've got a beautiful main street in Front Royal. I mean, we just drove the country yeah. and saw a lot of them. But moving coming into places at seven thirty in the evening. Eight o'clock in the evening, looking for a restaurant to be open was was difficult, right. and, and and a lot of places, yeah. uh, they're like, oh well, you can go to the that little fast food place down the street. Yeah. No, you know, you can't come in, but you can go through the drive through. Well, we're driving the bus. You can't yeah. go through the drive through. So we spent we spent a few nights on on the road eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, yeah. you know, yeah. because that's ice you cream know for dessert, right? I, ice cream for dessert, you know, little snacks here and Trail there. Trail mix, but yes. but this, food. This reminds me now. You did all this traveling around. Mm -hmm. What idea did you bring back that you think that we could implement this and be successful? I tell you what I seen when I was in New Mexico. I'm driving down the interstate there, and I pass this little dinky town in the middle of nowhere. Small town, big possibilities is on there. I don't know if you noticed uh, that. Uh, I, that. I, I did. I did. I did and notice I, that. And that's that's yeah. Uh, that 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 but, that but that's, there's that's catching. When you're traveling so, around, you see these things. And I said we can implement si that. Si signage. Does get seen on the interstate. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know we we stopped at we, we stopped at drug wall. Right. Uh, wall, 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 drug. Wall, wall drug. Wall Be, drug. Because, because there was seventy the, signs. You know, there's four, yeah, there's four hundred signs that say, that say this. Did you stop uh, at the thing? I, I did stop did. at the thing. We I did stop at the, the thing. thing. Again, you got you got a thousand signs up there that that direct you into this certain area. Middle of nowhere. Uh, middle of nowhere. This is smart. You, you just, but that's smart. that 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 was a, their advertisement and, and uh, well, Bucky's. Works. Bucky's is smart. Bucky's is smart. Yeah, they, they have Bucky merchandise, everything. Bucky's is a, is they got it going on. So I, for y'all who don't know what a Bucky's is, Bucky's is is a is a gas station, but it is like the size of Walmart. Yeah. 
<laughs> and what yes. they're and what they're known and they're for not is clean a truck bathrooms. Stop. Right. What they're known for is clean bathrooms. Yep. Right. Yeah. Cleanest bathrooms. You know, that's yep. what they're known. That's for. their thing. That, that's yeah. the, that's, the, that's yeah. their thing. So, but, but Bucky's and, and, and they smart. Do, they and do not. A, ex they accept RVs. Yeah, they do accept RVs, no 18-wheelers whatsoever. It's not a truck stop. It's the size of multiple truck stops. When but you went across Ohio, did you see the world's largest McDonald's? No. It's, it's like it's in an overpass when you go underneath the Interstate 70, and there's a McDonald's literally in one of these overpass things, and it's like, you know, 40,000 square feet or something. No. <laughs> I, 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 we saw the world's I, largest we, truck stop. Yes. We did stop We, we there. did stop at the world's largest truck I'm stop. Sorry but it's amazing there. the things you see as you travel this country. It's really a it, – it, but you know what? When you get home, you don't realize until you leave all the things and the great uh, recreational things, the restaurants, our main street – you know, all Absolutely. the things we complain about are really... Well, uh, okay, I, I, I noticed on this trip that when we would stop and ask residents of towns where certain things were, a lot of the residents didn't know where they were because we get like a racehorse. It, it, we, we, we get so wrapped up in our daily lives and what we're, what we're doing, and again, we, we've just discussed this a while ago. We're small in the whole scheme of things, but we get so wrapped up, we got blinders on that we don't see and, and, and we don't pay attention. We have seen and been told this is here. We have experienced that, but it's not something we do on a regular basis. Right, right. You ask me which restaurant to go eat at, I can tell you that. You ask me where the statue is, I, uh, We've got some statues in town. Don't we have one over here or, 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 exactly. or, or over here? But, you know, I, I don't know where that is. Uh, you, 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 you want a shop to go buy a costume, I can send you over here to go do that. So we forget about some of the markers and, and, and some of the resemblance and the things that we have in our areas from not utilizing them personally. Right, right. And so we portray that. So... Uh, Put forth a little more effort to, to understand your, your community and what we have to offer so, so we can direct the, the people that way. All right, uh, so 2022, what's going to be new for you? We have Fun Day coming up. You got, yeah, Family okay. Fun Day coming up on, and, and, and May 7th, and we've got a new director, uh, yeah. tourism director and whatnot. So we look, for, we look forward to, get her to, 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 to working. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I, I, I'm willing to adapt and, and, and overcome, and that's sure. what that's what we're all going to so do. So what's going to be new for you and Nina for 2022 now that you have your thumb right on the pulse of your business, you know? Well, we're 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 going to grow the ice cream shop. I mean, they're 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 working on the building next door to us now. They're 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 seeing what what can be done with that to bring another business in there, uh, and so that kind of stops me from from doing much more next door till we figure out right. what to put into that spot with with the work and stuff that's going on in, in the area. Uh, I'll solidify. We you know we we want to work with the uh, front row cardinals. We're going to work really hard with the front row cardinals this year and, and support them. They'll be part of Family Fun Day and, and got some big things coming when when the season opens. So we're going we're going to do a big grand right. opening celebration party with with, with the front row cardinals. That's yes. a, that's uh, a good thing when you mention that people really don't know what's going on. The, the front row cardinals, cardinals is is a prime example of that. That's a good example uh, that we really have a. Uh, I I was here for six years and didn't really know much about the front. Roll and the people that they bring here and how, how much an impact it has on the whole sport. Yep. Uh, yep. Baseball is really dramatic. It, 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 it is, it is, it is a beautiful thing. And uh, so we worked with them a little last year, and I, I signed on board to, 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 to go gung-ho this year with them. And, and I got a couple other... We've got some irons uh, in the pot. I, I, We're not quite uh, in the position right now to say to, to, what's to, going to on. disclose but, that. But, but, but we, we, got, we got some. We got some. Bit, we got. We, we are expanding, and and, and you're going you're gonna to see a lot of positive change and a lot of a lot of good a lot of good come from from some of the things that the that wheels we are point. turning. I can uh, I can think I can we, smell we, something we, burning. We we, <laughs> we we had we had a lot of time to think and analyze and and and, and recap where we want to go. Yeah. I mean, she's retired now, so now that she's at the ice cream shop, we can, you know, and we want a food truck competition before we left That's town. Right. That's right. So <laughs> so now the season's coming in. We we got people starting to reach out to us with that. So, so you're take as the, as you're well take as the business on the road, so well, that's. I think that's 
the I think that's the new way of of, of doing. You know, yep. the, the store is going to to do what the store is going to do for for a brick and mortar, and, and we we can we can bring that's some right. out. But the but the magic going out. Uh, you got a lot of neighborhoods that that are that are doing parties. Uh, and, and and coming together with the neighborhoods and whatnot, and hopefully and festivals will begin uh, the, and again. And the festivals sure. will, 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 will 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 pick back up in attendance and and, and stuff. But solidify, solidify more more with those parties and and outside. When you can take a vehicle to them and serve two hundred people at their location, they're not coming all to you at one time. Right. So when you can go there, so I believe that the mobile is is it's the, the way next way of, right. the next right. way of life in in, in the food industry uh, come, coming down the line. All right, and that's in a lot uh, of cities. This food I, truck. I, I tell you, all over this country, every 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 town we pulled into, there's a trailer and a trailer and a food truck here and another one over here. And you pull into the, the you know abandoned gas stations. These towns have opened up and allowed three or four food trucks to come in, and you get a variety of food that right. way and that talking to the people that's what they liked yep. uh, okay we can we can come out i like italian food she likes chinese food little johnny over here wants a hamburger or a hot dog right. and you got you you've got multiple trucks you can go in and get everybody something and you can enjoy yourself and right. and, and i saw that in pretty much every town that we went into yeah. uh yeah. with yeah. the exception of a few they ha they had food trucks and trailers along their main streets and off to the side to give these people an opportunity to to make a make a living. So when is the next trip? <laughs> Another well, five years. You know, yeah, we we I I I think I do want to take the bus through through Washington state and through California and whatnot. But uh, you know, if we do that, we'll plan we'll plan on that and when we do that, I'm going to ship by train. <laughs> The ice cream bus out that way, and we're gonna take a train ride out that way, there you go. and then w then we can do that that area over a couple of week period, and then load the truck back up and ship it back on the train, and either take the train ride back or fly back. But yeah, I, I think yeah. that would be, you know, I don't I don't think I'm I I, I would not mind going back out on a, on another cross country trip like that. Yeah. Uh, I I enjoy driving and whatnot, but the bus. I mean, tell them about your bus ride, baby. This, this is like riding in a. 84, what was it, 8,900 miles of a wooden roller coaster. Yeah. That's what it was for me. Kind of like the pioneers in your wagon, right? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm driven in those buses. And, they just, and, uh, and, 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 and no strap. So a wooden roller coaster with no strap. So it was, uh, it it was, was an adventure. It was, it was an adventure. It was part of the adventure. It, if you look at it in the rear view mirror, <laughs> it, it was okay. Well, yeah. well, you know, I'm driving this way. Going down the road, and I'm sitting. Ne this Nina's way. seat is facing this way, out the side window, so she can't see anything here. All she can see is this way, and she's like, "Okay, I can do these videos, and I can, you know, I can do this stuff here." So, yeah. And that messes with your brain when you're not looking ahead of the it, well, it, it, well, it, and you, and I was straining my neck, so I had to stop trying. So I had to stop trying. So yeah, and so it was an adventure. I just looked at it for for what it was, and. Yeah. and it, it, so we, we went 8,907.4 miles. We averaged 11.6 miles per gallon. Oh, okay. <laughs> we used 761.4 gallons of fuel. We well, were helping the economy. On, on, on this trip. <laughs> And our average speed was 35.6 miles per hour. So we just drove the country at 35 miles an hour. <laughs> well, good luck. Well, we made it. Uh, you made it. We, we made the bus. The bus. The bus made it home. We 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 made it home. Uh, uh, rejuvenated. miles was on this bus? Uh, there was 169,000 on it when I bought okay. it. Okay. And we, we we put a few thousand on it before we before we left town. So hundred and ninety thousand, oh, you know. So though. oh yeah, no, we're 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 good for another. Yeah, it's ready for another road trip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so we're no, glad you're back, and I know you're energized. And 
the blessing is in the giving, and that's yes, it. it you, I'm, I'm sure you. Yeah. I know you gave a lot on your trip, and you should be all charged up. And and, and 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 I know that the blessing is in the giving because everywhere. I mean, you go to a mechanic shop anywhere and anywhere you live in a town, you go. You call your mechanic. Very rarely are you going to be able to get in and get out in the same day. Sure, sure. It depends on what it is. I mean, it really all depends on what it is. So we I mean, had and some these hiccups. guys were busy. So for them to, you know, buy into what we told them what we were doing, so they were like, they understood, and they were willing to work with us, and, and you know, so the, it, it just, we warmed their heart, and they wanted to help us on yeah. our journey. It's, well, and the it's, people in, in Colorado, Jekko, they were just crushed to have to call Over us and beyond, and, 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 say, and very, very sad to say, we get can't get you on the road we for Thanksgiving. We can't get the part. So, and, I mean, uh, so, you know, they cared. And they don't know us. Yeah. We're, I mean, if just, but so yeah, it we was, we were just the blessed. They were that's, right. To help that's right. We they were, just, they were, they we were trying to help us. So we, we, we had a lot that. of help on the road. And I think that's yeah. one they thing. They did. Yeah, we had and a lot that's of one thing we want our community yeah. to know. Yes. That, you know, this is something we all need to do to come together and have this joy that we have because it's, it's, uh, it's addictive. No. <laughs> yes. We, we, and we, contagious. It is contagious. We, we have got to see the joy and and what we live right uh, we, we have got to well, uh, 2022 we just got to get out from behind out of our houses back into life back back back, back back into interaction well, let me, with other people now i think i've told you my daughter and her husband and three grandkids live in penang malaysia and what they and they teach school there and here's the philosophy of the malaysian government we are entering you know they had phase one phase mm -hmm. two now the phase is called we're going to learn to live with it, Faye. That's right. And they said, no That's more right. shutdowns, no more of this. We're going to learn. We all are going to have to learn to live with it and move on. And, and that's on. their philosophy there. And move on. And I think that's the philosophy that we all have to have is get, right. life goes on. Life goes on. Live live your life today for the life that you have been given because tomorrow is not promised. Exactly. Remember that. Tomorrow is not promised. Well, I always tell people, plan to live to be 100 and live every day like it's your last. Yep, yep. And and and, and cherish cherish the family and the community. That's it. And 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 and, and, and try. As 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 we don't really like to use that word try because like because that, that sets you up for 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 failure. Well, it gives you an excuse. Well, here's so I, so 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 take pride in the community from which from which we choose to live. The old coach would uh, say. When kids say, "Oh, I tried," and he spit on the ground, he said, "Try to pick that up." That's right. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's right. You don't. You don't. You don't try. You do or you don't. Yes. And and, and so, so 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 <laughs> so so from? let's all do better. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a lot of avenues that I can do better, and I and I and I saw some of those while we were on this trip, and I will do my part to do better as well. Yeah. And, and that's I think we'll that's our, our responsibility. I hope you do, yeah. because I want bigger. I want better. I, I want happy and light and love. It's color. Yeah. I'm tired of seeing black and white and just dull, just yeah. dull, just yeah. dull. We we want color, we want excitement, we want yeah. life, and, and and I'm looking forward to to, to bring in that. Oh, that's good. Uh, when you to, get to your new community. idea for 2022, and we're going to talk earlier in the in, or later in the spring about uh, Family Fun Day because that's Mother's Day weekend, and that's, that's always right. a great adventure. Always a great event. And so we'll, as that starts to come together, let's we'll, we'll spread the word on that. We'll we'll, we'll, and, we'll be back in at the end of February with all oh, with all right. the details oh, of right. all of the things that 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 I want to accomplish yes. in 2022. And what and, we have mulling around. What, what we have mulling around. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's good. And, and it'll it, it'll be excitement for everybody. Well, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you. Yes, you were a great asset to our community, even though unseen, people didn't really realize all the good you did here. Wow. And uh, it's some people did. Well, it's a necessary evil that yeah. we have. It is. And uh, it is. But things come together uh, for those who love the Lord. So I think that's what we have to do: is keep a, pos a positive right. attitude and right. work forward to, to uh, better our community. And congratulations on your trip, and, and you, we are you. so glad you're back. We are, we are, we are happy glad, to be we're glad back. to be back. All right, we'll be down to see you soon. Yes, sir. All right, thanks again. <laughs>